Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have now got the NFL 100 promo. This is of course the second week of it. Uh, something interesting though. So on Madden Ultimate Team, on Madden Mobile anyways, on Madden Mobile, there were seven players revealed for this week. We currently only have four in the game for today. So I'm not sure about this, but potentially we could see three more tomorrow. I don't know if that's confirmed or anything. I haven't seen uh, EA say anything about it. If they do, then I'll mention it in my midnight video later today. But as of right now, we have four players curling the game. Lawrence Taylor is one of them, which I predicted, and I'm so excited about this. By the way, Lawrence Taylor has Unstoppable Force. I, unfortunately, oh yeah, there it is. Unstoppable Force 100. So if you don't know what that is, basically when it comes to uh, the NFL 100 players, all of them have X-Factors where they start off the game with their X-Factor activated, but it's like twice as hard to get it. So if Lawrence Taylor gets knocked out of it, then you, you have to get like six sacks in the game probably. Maybe it's less than six for this. I mean, usually it's double for the guys, but six sacks sounds incredibly hard to get. So I'm probably going to put that on him just because that's ridiculous. Like to start off with Unstoppable Force on him is absolutely insane. But Lawrence Taylor's one of the guys. We also have got, I think it's Alan Page, Willie Lanier, and Deacon Jones. Those are the four that we have currently in the game right now. So those are the new ones. You guys can see powered up 95 overall LT. He's got 89 speed, 92 excel, 87 agility, 90 strength. He's got an 83 jumping, 91 tackle, 93 power move, 92 finesse move. Block sheds a 91. 93 hit power. I cannot wait to get this card. Uh, you guys can always just use training right now. If you can't afford the 94 overall version of them, just go ahead and get the 92. You know, use a little bit of training there. Get him up to pretty decent stats courses with all my chem boost on. So I don't know what his actual stats are here. If I show you guys right now, these are his actual stats in case you can't afford them, but you want to use 2600 training. He's got, you know, an 87 block shed, uh, 91 power move now. Definitely looking a little bit better. Now, I'm not sure if they are in the game just yet, but I think there might be some sets in the game now. And no, it looks like the sets are currently not in the game. So they pushed out the powered up stuff. I'm not sure if we have packs yet or solos. Let's double check on that real quick. And if we don't, I'll just come back exactly when we get them. And it looks like we've not. All right, guys. So everything is finally up in the game. So of course, there are these solo challenges that you guys need to get done. Uh, now, a lot of people would ask me, you know, how is EA going to track to make sure everyone's getting these challenges done? You can see here we get Alan Page. We get the Bobby Bell. Actually, did I say it was Bobby Bell earlier? I think, I think I said it was someone else. I'm almost positive I didn't say Bobby Bell. But we get a Deacon Jones power up there. And then we get the NFL 100 defensive line and linebacker fantasy pack. Now, there's only four challenges here. So, again, I don't know if we're going to be getting more players. It says, wait, 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 hold up. Do you guys see that? It says week two, release one. So, maybe we're actually getting more. And I think my game just froze. Well, the game just froze, but we are back in now. And as you guys can see, when it comes to the NFL 100, it actually did say there, week two, release one. So I believe there's going to be more. I don't know if you can get, if you can actually go back and play these solo challenges uh, still with the NFL week one. But you can see here, it is in fact tracking how many stars you guys have done. Uh, you need to make sure you play every single challenge as they release. I don't know exactly if there's a limit on when you can play these. I think maybe it's a little bit different because it's Thanksgiving potentially. You can still go back and play the running backs. Comment down below if you can play the running back challenges still. I have no clue. Uh, but as you guys can see here, make sure you get your solos done at the end of all six weeks. We are going to get a fantasy pack where we can choose any player that's released throughout this promo, I'm pretty sure. So that is pretty dang awesome. Make sure you guys get that done. But we do have some packs in the stores we are going to go ahead and get right into. Now, I think I said actually Willie Lanier. I'm pretty sure I said Willie Lanier, and it was not in fact Lanier. So we have exchange packs here. Okay, so trade in three auctionable NF100 base players and receive your choice of two auctionable base players that are currently available. Huh? Eh? So you can trade in, like, if you have the Jim Brown or Emmett Smith, and that way you can go ahead and get yourself two linebackers. 
little bit interesting there, but okay. So you can see here with the week one and week two, we've got the linebackers. So we have Deacon Jones. We, of course, have Alan Page, Bobby Bell, and LT. Now, these are all going to be the same as last, uh, last week, of course. It is 25 of these base players to get some of these cards. Now, I know also people are asking me about the Centennial Packs. Uh, well, with the Centennial Pack that's coming with the, I think it's Midnight Tomorrow, I want to say it comes out at Midnight Tomorrow. Is it? Yeah, 12 a.m. So it is going to be Midnight Tomorrow Night. Uh, I believe... I could be wrong, but I think it's going to have the running backs, the linebackers, and the defensive end, so that's pretty dang cool. Of course, be on the lookout. We'll be dropping videos at midnight going over the current offers in the store, but we do have the Week 2 NFL 100 Fantasy Pack. So let's go ahead. We're going to do all eight of these packs and cost me 800,000 coins, but we have uh, some potential here to maybe pull someone good we could potentially pull one of these new cards round number one we actually do get double leads here so that's a little bit interesting there we'll go with those guys and we'll go with the 76 bows so or whatever round number three that's not gonna be a full one you get an 83 86 and that's not a full one either but we will go with all these cards regardless so we get 10 packs here which basically means that if you are we get actually get eight packs here so we get at least 16 of these new cards i definitely want to get lawrence taylor I might be dropping some Lawrence Taylor gameplay for you guys later. So be on the lookout for that. If that happens, it'll be like at probably 8 a.m., like super early in the morning. Or actually, no, it'll have to be even earlier because we actually have stuff at 8 a.m. now. So I'm not sure when I'll drop Lawrence Taylor gameplay, but I definitely want to get LT gameplay out to you guys. Maybe it'll just be like a super, super early slash late gameplay, maybe like 3 a.m. I'll drop that out so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But next pack here, round number one, we're going to fly through it, and we get a 79, we go with a 76 there, 74. Round two, again, not a full one there, okay? No big legends, and again, not a full one. You'll know basically instantly if it is, in fact, going to be one of the full players. And for some reason, I thought that we just didn't have a limit on the pack, so that was a little bit weird. We'll fly through these ones, though. The round number one, usually is nothing too good. We do get a power up Gene Upshaw, though, so that's solid. Uh, we'll go with the 75s, whatever. Round two, 84, 88. That's actually really good. And what's this? 94 Deacon Jones. Let's go, baby. We actually got one. 94 overall Deacon Jones. Let's go, man. We finally got one. We opened up a ton of packs last week and we did not pull one, but today we got 94 Deacon Jones. I will definitely take that. He's got 78 speed, 86 excel, 91 strength, 92 tackling, 93 play rank, 91 block shed with a 92 power move. So if you guys have Aaron Donald, I mean, this is like really, really similar, right? So if you power up Deacon, He'd have the same speed, one le one more excel, two less strength, tackling and play rank are higher, but block shed's the same, power move is the same. It's really like no point in upgrading to Deacon Jones. I don't really think there's a point. Hit power's maybe higher too. Yeah, 92 from 79. I don't think it's worth the upgrade, but I will take the Deacon Jones card. Don't mind me if I do. Finally getting a good pull there. 94 overall pull. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you have not already for that amazing pull there. Let's get in the last couple of these packs, though. We did end up getting a 94. I'll take it. I, I really wish it was LT, but hey, I'm not going to complain. And we don't get another one here, but that's okay. I completely do not expect to pull another 94 overall player. If we end up getting 94 LT, though, man, I'll be excited. I'm pretty sure all these guys, though, I mean, obviously... The sets are all the same requirements, so we can probably just go ahead and trade that. Or not trade it, we can just sell it and then pick up Lawrence Taylor very easily for the coins we make off it. Round two. Okay, 88 John Elway, that's a pretty good pull. And we're going to go with the 84. And we'll go with 88 overall John Elway since I'm sure he goes for more than 25,000 coins, more than likely. Keep in mind what positions come out next. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it's defensive backs, I want to say, come out next week. So we get like cornerbacks and safeties, all that. So market will definitely be tanking a little bit on those. We'll go with any elites that we pulled here, and we'll go with the 76. Round number two. Okay, so we don't get a full one there. We get 90 Austin Eckler. Okay, we'll take him, and we'll go with the 84 overall Allen Page. These packs are kind of heat, man. These, these packs are definitely kind of heat. Last week two pack here. Then we'll check out the auction block, and I'll show you guys uh, all of the stats. I cannot believe we actually ended up getting a 94 overall pull. That is amazing. Round two. I mean, big X. We do. 88 John Henderson. I'll take it. And we get the 84 Bobby Bell. So those packs were definitely pretty heap. But you guys already saw Deacon Jones stats. Let's go ahead. Check out the auction block. Let's see if we can find these other cards up here. 
Let's see, NFL 100, I cannot wait to get LT gameplay, man. That card is going to play so ridiculously insane. Let's sort by 94 to 95, and let's see. Are they going to be up? They should be up already. I mean, I pulled one. Definitely should be up. Let's sort by all defense. The way we strictly only get these 94 overall linebackers, defense events. We have Bobby. Wow, he's 700K? Holy crap. I pulled a 700K card and I didn't even realize it. Bobby Bell, 85 speed, 89 excel, 85 strength, 92 tackling, 86 play rec, 90, or 92 play rec, actually, 86 block shed. His zone, though, please be like 88. 85. Okay, so it's solid. Nothing amazing, though. 85 speed. It's overall solid card. 90 hit power on him as well. You know, it's solid. Deacon Jones up for 769. That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm definitely going to sell him ASAP. Lawrence Taylor, of course, you guys already saw his stats, but 88 speed, 91 excel, 90 block shit, 92 power move, 91 finesse move, 89 strength. You already know I'm picking him up. And finally, we've got Alan Page, which... Defender John Randall, 82 speed, 87 acceleration, 89 strength, 89 tackling, 91 play rate, 89 block shed, 91 finesse move. I don't think it's worth for me to upgrade uh, from John Randall to Page, but I might just do it. Just to get the 95 for all TT. We'll have to see. But those are the new players. We got a 94 overall poll. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. And if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. I will be dropping a video at midnight going over all of the new stuff that we get. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.